The waiter said, I see you have one empty glass with water. Would you like another one? And then my dad was like, why would I want two empty glasses? <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Dying Light to Stay Human. We are getting into the nitty gritty of it. It's not as straightforward as I initially thought it would be. I was like, yeah, I can only or I am only going to do this um the main story mission and blah 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 and do the rest off screen actually you have to do some side missions as i found out just to progress in the story as well which i'm not mad in all honesty it, it it's a bit thrilling this game is definitely not horror it's thrilling it makes your blood pump <laughs> or your heart pump the blood <coughs> sorry i just coughed yes so i'm still going through my cold or whatever it's been it's been long since I've got this cold, but it's still here, so not good. Anyway, that's where we are. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get into it. Okay, last we spoke to Hakon. <sighs> and now, where do we need to go? We need to go a hundred stuff. Okay, let's check the map up, actually. Map up, 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 No, over here. Okay, okay. Yes, so all the question marks that you'll, you'll see on the map, I'll do them off screen. This is probably the last episode of the day that I'm going to film. If not one after this, but I don't think I'll have time. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. I'll meet you guys there. Right, guys, we're almost there. I am a bit annoyed with this game because it just takes so long just to climb from A to B. Even though, in my opinion, it should be for it. It's really straightforward. Um... Where do we go? Just up there. <clears throat> okay. I feel like we've been here. Haven't we? Oh, maybe we haven't. Oh my god, you need to be quick. There you go. Hi. You Hubert? No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You no know one will be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed No. That said, he's got the best moonshine. Oh, really? So, worth the wait. Worth uh, the wait. Nothing to do but wait, I guess. I guess. Just moonshine, hey? Oh, I thought it was going to make us find a safe place to sleep or something. <laughs> but no, because that would be too many hours ahead. Anyway. Is that him? Hey. You Hubert? Who's asking? Oh, but we know him from a the customer. bazaar. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. But wait, I just want to buy something. Oh, no. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Oh, you fucking dickhead. What? Yeah, sure. Come on, hurry up. I don't care Heck if you're I, hurt. He's running away. Yes. Nah. Sounds like you'll be. Really? Oh, wait a I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. <coughs> Do I have to Faster, Aiden. Tickle. You almost got him. How am I gonna get there? Oh, I see. This ramp. Didn't see him. Or didn't see it. Welcoming me here, clearly. They're a bit of aggro towards little me here. I can do it in 40 seconds. I mean, he kind of stopped here, so. Where is he? I got it. Lost He's him. not here. Ah, impossible. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait. I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? This He's climbing to the roof. Big one? Where? Okay. How am I gonna climb this? I'm dead. I am so dead. Okay, I don't know how to get there. Oh. For some reason, I thought he could grab onto fence because that would be like a thing that you could do in real life. You know what I mean? But I guess he can't. Container detected. 
where I stop. God damn, lost him. But he's got to be on that rooftop, Aiden. Find him. No, what are you doing? Oh, for goodness sake. Why can't he just fucking... Why? I'm gonna fall down now. Why can't he just jump across? I don't understand. I don't understand. This game is stupid. See what I mean? Like, why can't he make that jump? Now I have to go the... God. Right. Let's try again this time. I'm losing my grip now, so... Oh my god! I was just there! Are you fucking kidding me? Is this the only way up? Guys, I <laughs> I'm losing it. <sighs> fucking you better, fucking Hubert. fuck. Hubert. Oh, there he is. Why are you screaming? Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. Yeah. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Hmm. What did you Why did you run away yeah. from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on, everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. <clears throat> Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client uh, confidentiality. You, you are... Stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. <coughs> I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, Maya. near the old butcher shop. Uh, but I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Okay, do we use our binoculars or something? Find Hubert. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know a Maya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Can I modify some more? Okay, we'll stay in touch. Look for my, um... Where exactly? Over yonders. Oh god. Can I jump from here? Maybe jump over there. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I'll meet you in a second. All right, guys, we're here somewhere. I think I have to go a bit down. Oh, there we are. Oh shit. There might be a few people here, not necessarily people. What the actual fuck? Can I not open this, please? Is there a Maya upstairs? Is she? Or is is there a guy? A gu by a guy, I mean a zomber. Get upstairs. Gosh. Sounds weird though. <coughs> Looks 
sorry. Keep coughing. Oh, there we go. Hmm. A shithole indeed. My bracelet keeps saying, oh, you have this nearby or stuff. There's a kid here? What? Hey, kids. Um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown-up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Where did you get a God. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? Yeah. We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him. And I took the brass who's a what's it's cause I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Yeah, okay, I guess so. Maya. Maybe we'll get to keep I it. need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass hoozy what's it over? Are you nuts? The hoozy what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. Whoa, negotiate. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I don't think I haven't that much. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal. Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. <laughs> no, but nobody's going to suspect him if he has it now. Right? Hopefully. Uh, now we're going to use it. Hell yeah. Cool. Cool setup they got here, huh? Lullabies. Okay, well, thanks, little old miss. Now, hey, hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Metro Station it is, so I'll meet you guys there. I have to say now that you got the hang of how everything works it's quite fun and easy just to go around exploring which as i said to you guys i will do when i'm finished um probably with this episode because uh, yeah i just I, i'm probably honestly gonna play it all weekend so i'll do the side quest and stuff like that that's not that you know prevalent you know or important me really so but we're here so let's go. Well, oh, the pilgrim has returned. He's getting a tattoo. I'm not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop, we'll get back to this later. Leave us. Oh, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Mm -hmm. Those are rank tattoos. Oh, really? When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. Mm. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Yeah, exactly. Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. Yeah, that's true. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. <clears throat> wow, that's an interesting thing. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, You didn't really Pilgrim. promise. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Okay. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. Right. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. 
I'll help you, of course. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus' blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Mm, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. Mm. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. Sure. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. Mm. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. Very true. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Mm. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. Mm. I'll find him. Don't you worry, I'm to find Eater. This is killer. Splendid. Ator, whatever. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush hush. Okay. Word of this cannot get out. Right. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. Yeah. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. Mm. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, mm. then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Okay. Got it. I'll head out right now. I bet there's more to the story than just, oh yeah, we killed Lucas because we didn't like him. I bet Lucas did something to provoke it. And I bet it, it is somebody from the bazaar since he keeps mentioning that. But yeah, okay. Well, I'll meet you guys at the bazaar. Oh, there he is. I thought we were going to have to go to the bazaar, but... Hater wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Yeah. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? <clears throat> Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. Mm, okay. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's, you'll see. Okay. Off to the bazaar then! <sighs> right, we're here, guys. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. Ooh. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. Outsider? What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. Who are you? And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. Well, you don't look very friendly. This time with a biomarker. But we went. Carl said if you show up to bring your own so he can introduce himself. Oh, okay. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. Mm -hmm. What a nice change. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Is that him? Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. <laughs> it's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. See a priest. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? 
Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. Mm. Like and this is dinosaurs. why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Sure. Free from lies, wow. free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Mm. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. Yeah. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. Sure. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. Ooh. What are you, then? Ooh. Let's go with this I'm one. not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, uh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Um, I have a package for her. It's my own business. Let's go. Should we lie? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. Oh, shit. She was born and raised here. Maybe I should be... That's probably why she cares about this place so much. Should She's be honest. a great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? 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 Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. Ooh. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Yeah. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. Bodyguard. She won't be far. Why does she need a bodyguard? Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. Fair enough, mister. Let's go meet her and her bodyguard. Sophie, can we talk? She pretty. <laughs> Don't hurt him, Herman. I am Groot. Let him talk. <laughs> Why so violent? My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? <clears throat> Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Well, we already messed up a coral. Coral! Okay, do we go in? Get some more personal. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a bit hard. I think. Hey, you. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Go with this. Does it make a difference? Go with the truth. <laughs> I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? For oh, reals? Yeah. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? 
Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. Right. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarriant. They'll fill you in on the details. Okay. Okay. Understood. Well, we, I'll go report to them. We have to get them to trust Don't us. Don't keep them so. waiting. <coughs> God, this cock just does not go away. Um. Hey, back up. Found some power. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like he looks yours? like an actor that I know. Mm, ballsy. Okay, then. Don't know his name, though. What does your hungry soul crave? Information. Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. Oh, yeah. It can't be a coincidence. Okay. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? No, oh, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. There we you go. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place, takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Hmm. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Okay. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. And what do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. Ah. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Oh, he's a tough who's the guy? guy? Hubert. No Half-assed Hubie, we call him. <laughs> Met him. I know him, yeah. Lives up to his nickname. <laughs> Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. Oh, thanks. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. Why? What do you mean, yeah? Uh, why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. Uh. He's super paranoid. Lives oh, like shit. a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. Oh, You'll need to climb up maze? and find one of his secret passages to get in. Oh! I That's can handle interesting. it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara so he knows I sent you. He's probably Got gonna it. try and run for me if he knows you sent me <laughs> Sayonara. Okay. The ball's in your court. Right. How? I presume this is how we. Get to trust people or the people to trust us <laughs> just by doing side quests, right? I would imagine. So, set some work on the bazaar and arm the trophies trust. Okay, right, so. Oh, she's green as well. If you got no one to lean on, who is she? Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. Oh, I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Wait, take this. A little sweetness for the circus. Huh? Well, do you often give away honey and backhanded compliments like that? Hmm. Honey and wisdom, both my gifts to you. So much darkness in the world, why not brighten it with a smile? Might open more doors for you. Sure, why not? Mom, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. Oh, and he's an alcoholic. He's a criminal, Benny. Look at him. We saw him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes. Oh, Benny. And not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. Thanks a lot. My sister found some weird tapes inside. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm gonna try and do at least one of the missions this episode. 
Um, so let's go and mark it. Um, ba -ba -bum. Which one is it? Name it. Damien told me about a place. Go earn some money. It's kitchen. Best meet the group offering a job. Hmm. I might do all three, but I don't know if, if I'll do all of them. But let's just track this one. First, so I'll meet you guys don't when look at me I like that. get I'm there. Just giving you information. Yeah. Alright, it's night time. I didn't appreciate that. He's a howler as well. Great. That's what I don't like. Yeah, good move. Bitch, get out my way. Get out my way. Well, obviously, this is a different date um, because I had to stop recording then. But we're here. I did. Okay, let me just show you what I did because I don't want to go into it and be like, oh, not telling you anything. But I did all this. Besides this Fury Cricket, which I find so difficult for some reason, uh, I keep running out of time. I like do it and then it just says <laughs> I keep running out of time, which is annoying. I did a lot of side quests. A lot. I said I'm probably going to do some side quests on screen, but only if they're pertinent to the story, but these really weren't. Um, I still have this windmill to do, which you need 300 stamina, and I only have 240 for that. And obviously these anomalies, which are super hard. I managed to do this one, but I got to the fourth level, which is the last one, and I just keep getting killed. So I'm just going to wait until I'm a bit stronger and then do it. And I didn't even attempt this, just because... Um, but yeah, I got a few, um, level 4 health and level 6 stamina, and I kind of did everything on the map, really. Um, I, I didn't realize all these, uh, blue and orange location keep respawning, um, but yeah, this is where we are. I did all the challenges, as you can see, so there's nothing much left to do besides progress the story, and I'm super excited to get to it, so let's get to it. Sophie. Hello, Sophie. You wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones Useful. that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. Oh, thank what you. What are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. Oh. I need a few for a certain transaction. Right. Okay, what sort of? A certain of? transaction. Hmm. Anything I need to know about? Yeah. Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell. Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers. And that's who you are. But then... So far, at least. You're trusting me... Bring me the location of the crystals first. And we'll see where we go from there. But then you're trusting me with this information. Why are the crystals... Those crystals? Yeah. What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of a city. Oh yeah, I've a heard about byproduct them. byproduct of... Yeah. People yeah, yeah, believe yeah. the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. Okay. And that's why they're so important to you guys. That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? Whoa. But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. Yeah, I guess so. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Right. Okay, so it's transactional. Well, you transactional. Said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. From the way Carl talked, you mm. sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. Mm. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. <laughs> sure, if you say so. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Mm. Vincenzo, his son, is kind of shy. Yeah. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Ooh. I mean, Fine. we already know them. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so grateful for you giving me bigger and better jobs yeah well obviously i've done i think two side missions for them or maybe just one i can't remember exactly i've done a lot okay but i'm still finding stuff so i had a huge why is it pointing me to him 
I don't want to trade. Uh, I want to uh, talk. Uh, well, and uh, a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. You in the Finally. Sophie that, said that's me. weird. When she they says stuff you like know that. where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow. <laughs> Sophie's brother. Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's Ooh, name. Oh, I heard about Barney. him before. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Oh, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. God, finally. A hundred meters from the metro. Right. There's a big sign. Fashion store. Uh -huh. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Okay. Uh, thanks. Right. Off we go, I guess. But how and why couldn't she talk to him? That's my question. Like, I feel like this was a bit of a waste of time, but we'll see what she says now. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first Ooh. time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. The fucking kid. Hmm. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, mm -hmm. and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Yeah. Never mind. Their parents I'll or kick what? Kick Barney's ass when he gets back. Barney? Sorry, just had a sip. <laughs> How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. Well, we I can go try to track him down. Yeah. You? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? Yeah, if you save him, really? you won't regret it. We still have some time. Well, I better not. Barney will likely ready. wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home sure. safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. Thanks. That means do we have to wait until dusk or? Okay, finish the challenge when at least Barney... No. Search for Barney at night. Yes. That's what I want to do. Okay, it's gonna fast forward. Why didn't we go now if we knew where he is in the daytime? Wouldn't it be safer? Because he's not inside. Now I have to fucking look for him inside. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Anyway. Obviously, I got some more skills. Oop. Um, in my back pocket now. Actually, I need my flashlight, don't I? <coughs> So it's gonna be interesting, pumpkins. Okay, which way do I go? Howlers, I don't like howlers. They are the absolute worst things invented in this game. Just because I've seen <laughs> you keep getting chased because of them, right? Oh no, let's not, let's not engage with anybody and anything. And try and stay alive as much as I can. Which way? That way. <gasps> Yo, I thought I was a goner because there's a howler right there on yonders. But I wasn't. Okay, we're almost here, you guys, so it's fine. I think. 
just we need to see if there is a howler nearby i don't think there's anybody here so cool well let's try and take down as many as we can before progressing oh for goodness sake what did i just say sophie i'm inside no son of barney yet you have to find him he has to be in there somewhere i'm looking he saw right. me I mean, there's not so many of them here. Hopefully, I can manage to kill them. But, um, oh, they're just level one. I didn't realize I'm like level three. And a half. So that's good. Okay, so he has to be here. Okay, where the heck? Should we go upstairs? Damn. Right, let's try and be sneaky this time. Oh, I thought there was something behind me, but there wasn't. Okay, he was a big guy, I feel like. Why? Try this one. Fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! How would I know your name? Are our crystals. You get it? You won't have it. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. Why can't you try and talk to him? Barney! Go back to where you came from! Uh, come out or I'll make you stop acting tougher than you are. Your sister is worried about you. Should we go with this? Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! Okay. But, but it's true! You're damn lucky you're busy here, dipshit! Barney... I'll count to three. Ooh. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! <gasps> Great. <clears throat> right. Well, I guess we'll fight now. I heard that IGN already gave this um, 6.5 or something. Is there more? There is more. And obviously that's not great. <laughs> Oops, I'm stuck for some reason. I'll get the F off. I don't I definitely played this. Um I don't know which I can say I played it. Those are the guys that give you trophies, the runners. So let's just quickly collect whatever we can collect just because yeah see they give you some trippers which you used to upgrade your stuff with okay sorry it's taking a while but okay i want to be sure i get everything Barney. okay that's it <laughs> he was really quiet oh i was about to say i think he left they gone what happened to him? Yeah, I went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Huh? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. I'll look for him. He'll have to find his own. No, okay, Where can I'll I find look him? for him, I guess. He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! 
What a hero, what a legend I am, right? Saving everybody and talking to him. Okay, where exactly do I need to go? Down there, okay. Hello? Oh, investigate. <laughs> Blood. Must be birdies. Blood. Trash should lead me to him. Okay. <sighs> Let's open the door and go. Where exactly did he went in there? Okay. Hey, you find Birdie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Where exactly did he not go? Yeah, he went over here. <laughs> Investigate. I wasn't going down without a fight. I think he went up. How much do you want to bet? Right, so where the heck did he go? Has he gone? Did he go? What? Priorities, right, guys? So, I just have a feeling he did went upstairs, so let's just quickly go and check. Uh huh. Oh, okay, he climbed even higher up. Okay. Sorry, I know some of you just get mad at me for not collecting stuff. But, I mean, I am playing just to play the game. Because I am a collector, other than that. <laughs> I took out all those fuckers. Oh, there you are. This... And you're gone. Who are you? Probably. The maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. God, you look Good rough. old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. I pulled it off. Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Ooh. Uh, what a birthday. And can I ask a favor? You see... Over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta oh, hurry. Oh, your mother. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello. Yeah, I knew it. Mom. <coughs> I'm not gonna be you there. You. Mom. Nathan, is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney. He promised me that he'd keep you safe. Don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan, what's going on? Oh my god. Well, Barney, what can I say? There? Barney, Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Oh, just arrived. He, what? He was supposed to. I didn't trust you. He thought. You wanted to take the crystals. Right. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Go back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Oh, are you? And will you now? Right, let me just collect these, because priorities. Okay, so more chamomile here. And, um, stuff here. That to sell. Okay, let's go to the bazaar then. And I'll meet you guys there. Actually, I won't meet you guys there. I actually wanted to talk about how much I like this game and how disappointed I am. Even though I kind of knew it wouldn't do as good on my channel just because obviously people just want to play for themselves and whatnot, right? Um, ooh, is this a one that we need to collect? I think it is a trophy. Save you. I'll save you. Sure. Don't just stand there. 
but um, yeah, 6.5 I think is quite low. Even though I did, I have to admit, I found some glitches. Bacon, I did save the bacon, didn't I? I did find glitches and stuff like floating and <laughs> like zombies getting like stuck midair and like, you know. It was, it's not, let me put it that way, it's not a, as far as bad as Cyberpunk was when it launched. That's for sure. So, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed that they gave such a low score, but everybody in the comments, they're like, nope, it's a 9 or 10 for me, so I agree. Doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. I bet you Barney Where's killed Sophie? Lucas. You oh, again? we saw him before, actually. What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. <laughs> she doesn't agree. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. I will. You pluck your eyebrows. Or whatever you want to do. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. No. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Is there Sophie. a thing going on between these two? Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Why is Herman? Interesting guy, like, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. Sure. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Um. Why did Barney bail let's on ask me? everything. <laughs> Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, what you'll transaction, be able to help. Though? Like I did with Barney and Birdie, it didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. Sure. He he wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. Mm. You say so. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? Yeah. I can I protect guess. my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Yeah, well, everybody should protect themselves anyway. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? 
I see people. Something people outside the walls could only Did dream of. Nick? All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Oh. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they Heard lived in the them? bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. Right. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. Oh, okay. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. Mm. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, Ooh, she, she, was in she charge? led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After oh. her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. How well, did didn't she your die? mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. Ooh. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna you do? Can't be both. What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. Uh huh. But I'm skeptical. Right. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. Right. So I should guard them. Basically. Yes. From a discreet distance. Oh, I see. Okay. And if shit goes down, then I step in. Ah! Okay. What is this uh, question mark? Uh, exclamation point, should I say, actually. Unruly brother. I bet it's a side quest that I don't really want to do right now. Where's the main mission then? Okay. Right, there's a the main mission. I'm not going to do the side quest just yet. But at least we know she's here. Who knows? As I said, I'm gonna do side quest off screen because I obviously there's not much engagement in this playthrough, unfortunately. Because it pains me because I love this game so much. Um, but oh my god, I just thought maybe I shouldn't have come at night. Oh well. Aiden, something's up. Susie, you there? What? what? Oh my god. I'm Susie, coming now. What's going on? It was a trap! Ralph! I knew it. Fuck! Susie! Ralph! Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Okay, got it. How did he see me, that fucker? Thank god that they didn't trigger the chase or whatever. Maybe because I'm in a mission. <laughs> Actually, they didn't trigger it. Hell yeah! See bandits. That's so oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. Right, okay. I will kill them all. Let me put my throwing knives. Do I not have gas tanks? Or should I try and sneak? It's giving me goosebumps. Well, Someone help me take out this Never area. mind! I tried to hide, but it's not really my thing, uh, clearly. They're only level one. <laughs> I keep saying that. I bet when I'm gonna get to the other side of the map. Made it. Oh, it's only three of them? There are no survivors. Who's here? Fucking oh, it's this guy. Find the crystals. Susie had them. How come there's only three of them? Hmm. Anyway. Susie? Whoa, why is she Carl. translucent? They, they took Carl. 
What? Carl. Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? She dead. Susie dead. Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. There's nothing you could have done. No. <gasps> Except that I sent them. Oh no, it's a guy. It's a big guy. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, oh I knew it. I fucking knew it. I, to this day, I haven't fucking killed one of them. What? The goon. Huge, ugly goon. motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Should I try to take him? I mean, he's only a level one. Oh, fuck! <laughs> no! Oh, come on! I keep forgetting what to press. Oh my god. No, jump. 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 Oh my god. Okay, well. Maybe I should just. Just. Why? Does he keep putting his fucking stuff away? Quick! Right, I don't know where the goon is. I should definitely try and take him out, but there's a lot of other guys here. Okay. Sophie, everything's been taken. There he is. Before you got there, everything has gone wrong. All right. There's too many of them. That's the thing. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl. Right. Crystals. Well, I'm coming. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Where's the goon? Oh, I thought he disappeared for some reason. Um. Aiden. How's it going? You alive, man? Fuck. Oh. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? Oh my god, I did dodge! Something about Luke Fuck you, head. I did dodge. So far. Now they have a bigger problem. The so bandits you mentioned? I'm not gonna do it. I took Carl hostage. Oh shit. Who oh, no. knows? Exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Okay, cool. Great to know your input in the, this matter, Hakon. Uh, actually, I still have some skills combat. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait until we get the bow and arrow, actually. Uh, smash enemy heads while dropping onto them. That's quite good. <laughs> Quickly take down or perform a partial attack. That's quite good. I mean, let's get this one. I actually heard very good things about this one, so... For some reason, I did think I got it already, but I guess I didn't, so... Never mind. Oh god, nope. Oh, shit. Oh, shitty shit. Please, Howler. Please leave me alone. Right. Right, there they are. Hello. Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? <sighs> Why is hey, Why are you talking? on the mission? Friends could have used you. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. Uh, it definitely reminds me of Groot. The raid. <clears throat> He's having a flashback again, clearly. Okay. Mia? 
but I can't go anywhere anyway, so I have to follow the marker. Mia. What's me the matter? Up, What's the matter you? with me? What's the matter with me? Oh, oh, that it's empty. I knew it. Surprised he didn't say hmm, empty. Oh, no. oh, fire! No, no, no! Fire! But this girl is on fire. <laughs> literally, almost literally. I don't know why he's so sure that she's still alive. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet I let him lead. Well. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Who even knows? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho. And a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Okay. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. She's so angry all the time. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, Where were you? Up. What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party, not a wake. Ooh, he's a bastard, doesn't he? In case you change your mind. Prick. He can be a real pain in the ass. But no we'll shit. do something good for the city one day. Right. Did he just take cocaine or something? I think he just did. Bernie, to your help. God. He needs to die. Sorry, I know he's your brother and all, but he needs to die. Tell me about Bernie now. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Monsieur Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But hmm. right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. But we'll what if he's him working the with them? From Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Okay, I'll go see him on the spot. Aitor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. Okay. It's about saving your life. That guy sounds like Di Danny Dyer for some reason. Okay, well, I'll leave it here for this episode. I think it's going to be a bit longer than I wanted to it to be, but hey-ho, here we are. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like it. Subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.